What's up, everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Gargoyles um, boss in Dark Souls 2. I believe we are at the Lost Bastille Bonfire, the Servant's Quarters. If you run down that ladder back there, you'll see a Ferris Lockstone. Activate it, walk through the door, and come in this area. You'll fight these guys right here. Um, this area is prone to heavy invasion from other players due to the guy in the beginning giving, uh, letting you join the Covenant which lets you invade other players that are in this area. Um, so what you're going to want to do is come all the way up, kill all these guys. You don't really have to kill them because all you need to do is come here and pull a lever, but kill them anyways. Uh, here comes a guy coming to invade me. This guy comes up the ladder and doesn't even realize, gets his ass whipped. Um, so anyways, do away with any invaders you get if you can. Kill all these little bitty guys. So that way you can loot this chest here. Get a couple items, pull the lever, which opens the fog gate back down this ladder right here. So this is where the boss is at. If you've played Dark Souls 1, this fight is very similar. You're fighting on a rooftop, you're fighting gargoyles, you're fighting more than one. It's pretty much the exact same fight. The only difference here is that instead of two, you're now fighting, um, well, essentially more than two. And the number that you fight is based on how much damage you do to each gargoyle. Um... I believe it's based on the boss's overall health. So once you get him down to, uh, I don't know, I forget what it is, 75% we'll say, the next gargoyle, bleh, gargoyle will spawn. There he is right there. I killed one, took him down to about 75% on the total health, maybe 80, and the second gargoyle will spawn. So what this means is that you don't want to be attacking multiple gargoyles at the same time. Let's say I switched to the other gargoyle and got him down to half health right now. I would have three spawning. Well, I've already got three there. So you really want to focus on one, and once you get them down to about 25% um, health, you really need to start burning them because you're going to have another gargoyle coming into the fight. So I'm not really doing too bad here. I'm killing them very quick. Right now I've only got one gargoyle out fighting me. You'll probably see another. There's another one in the back there. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the gist of the fight. Um, really focusing on one. Kind of keep your distance. They're not as bad as the first game. Um, their attacks aren't that bad at all, really. I mean, they're very easy to dodge. You can see them coming. Let's see what kind of attacks they've got. They've got the flying attack as before. Um, they are both using the halberds. They've got a pretty wide range, so just keep your keep your distance if you can. Take your time. It's not too too uh, hard of a fight. Like I said, you can do a little bit of damage to one. Um, and if you need to take a break, make sure you do it before the next gargoyle spawns. If one spawns, you really do need to finish off the one you're working on before you try and run off and heal, because having three gar uh, gargoyles running around is pretty tough to deal with. So that's pretty much the tutorial for that. Um, if you're watching this video, to get the Bastille key, which opens up multiple doors in the Lost Bastille, including the two doors before the... <coughs> center boss um, this is how you get that um, they've got those guys right there will not be in your game if you're playing on your first playthrough this is actually new game plus and that's why they're there so the Bastille key is right after you beat the gargoyles you'll get a bonfire here and climb down this ladder you will get invaded by a spirit as soon as you um, once you hit the ground which I completely forgot about and I end up dying right here um, and there's a ton of wolves anyway so even without the spirit it's a pretty tough fight um, I actually almost got through them all and killed him, but I ran into a wolf up here and he got me. Um, so really, if you're ranged or if you have some sort of range, you can pretty much sit up here and pick him off. So what I do is climb down to the bottom, get off the ladder, he invades you, I climb back up top, and then I just pick off everybody. Um, so once you kill all these guys, you get down to the bottom, there'll be an enchanted falcon, falcon, whatever however you say that, um, and along with the Bastille key... Um, and that's pretty much it. So don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. See ya.